living but dead in the natural an impossible and also a paradoxical statement friends today i'm going to show you this double meaning cliche and how it impacts on our daily living i'm still in the book of ephesians and i'm enjoying the epistles that paul wrote and in chapter 2 is talking about our disobedience to god which leads to sin where we become slaves to the devil because of, because of our sinful nature so we are living but dead in our sins that's right because it, paul writes and says e the devil is the spirit at work in our hearts or of those who refuse to obey god verse 3 and all of us used to live that way following the passionate desires and inclinations of our sinful nature and how unfortunate that is friends it brings destruction and death eventually to us so we're living but dead in our ways but verse 4 of that same chapter 2 just kinds of reverses all of this and it starts off with the word but god is so rich in mercy hallelujah and he loves us so much that even though we were dead because of our sins he gave us life when he raised jesus from the dead i just want to ponder on that friends no matter how far gone you think you are i said you think you are remember you are never too far gone for god to reach out to you no matter what your sin is no matter how much of sin you've committed and the bad deeds you have committed or you're still dabbling in you may be in that gutter today you may be you've sinned so much that even it it is breaking and broke your family it has destroyed your career it's destroyed even your ministry that god has called you to friends you are never too far because god's mercy is so rich that he will reach out to you he loves us so much and even when we think we so far gone and dead he gives us life when he raised jesus from the dead That's right friends it is only by God's grace that you have been saved hallelujah safe from what safe from death hallelujah amen verse 6 goes on to say for he raised us from the dead along with Christ and look what he's done for you and I friends and he seated us seated us with Christ with Jesus in the heavenly realms in the heavenly places why because we are united with Jesus Christ so god can point us to all through all ages as examples of his incredible wealth of his grace and kindness to us mighty god and heavenly father daddy we may think we are gone so far beyond redemption But dad thank you for your son Jesus Christ which you have sent down to earth to die for that sin or for our sins Father today we reach out all we do father as your word says just accept Jesus as our god and our savior and believe in our hearts that he raised him from the dead and we shall be saved as your word says in Romans 10:9 Daddy help us bring us back on this road and for those that are listening in today dad that have they think that it's the end of the road friends you have just started your journey declares the lord but the journey that's in jesus christ he will save you from that sinful nature of yours that is leading you to death indeed we are living but dead 
Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, the other side of living but dead is when we die spiritually. When we die, when I, I mean die to self rather, and we take on the Spirit. So we're living, but living by the Spirit. The Spirit now lives in us. We're controlled by the Holy Spirit. That's the other double meaning. Well, until next time, this is Pastor Henry Samuels, praying that you remain touched and changed. In Jesus' mighty name, stay blessed.